So remember back in 2017 after Trump and the Republican Party passed their tax cuts and there were all of these companies like Home Depot and whatnot all giving their employees $1,000 bonuses and then 2018 rolls around and they're not giving their employees any bonuses. Why do you think that's the case? Why would they give their employees bonuses and say that this is specifically because of Trump's tax cuts before it even got implemented? And why would they not do the same thing once it actually is law and once it became implemented? Um, well, there's one very specific reason for that. It's because that was nothing more than corporate PR. They were trying to dupe you into believing that them getting more money is somehow good for you. Because, hey, um, turns out they want more money. <laughs> That's their one goal is to get more and more money. So it's in their interest to convince you that them getting bigger tax cuts will also benefit you and trickle down to you. Turns out that hasn't happened. So it's not just that like when you look at it from the perspective of the optics, it's bad optics. But in practice, what did Donald Trump's tax cuts end up achieving? Well, exactly what we said it would achieve. It gave tax cuts to the rich and poor people got dicked. So as Jonathan Chait of the New York Intelligencer writes, the biggest effect of the Trump tax cuts is obvious. People who own businesses and other sources of concentrated wealth will have a lot more money and the federal budget will have less. But the advocates of the tax cuts insisted it wasn't about letting the makers keep their hard-earned money rather than handing it over to the takers. It was about incentivizing business to repatriate funds and ramp up its investments, thereby increasing growth and wages. The Congressional Research Service, a kind of in-house think tank for Congress, has a new paper analyzing the effects of the Trump tax cuts. It finds that none of those secondary benefits have materialized. Shocker. Growth has not increased above the pre-tax cut trend, neither have wages. After a brief and much smaller than expected bump, repatriated corporate cash from abroad has leveled off. It's of course possible that the growth in wages would take longer than the year or so that has passed since the tax cut to show up. If the Trump tax cut had encouraged new business investment, it might take years for the new investment to bear fruit. But the study looks directly at business investment and finds nothing. Now, as you can see from this chart here, not much has changed. <laughs> so what Donald Trump claimed would happen did not actually happen. Now, Chait continues, supporters of the Trump tax cuts insisted not only that they would promote growth, but that they would promote so much growth, the measure would pay for itself. Even moderates like Susan Collins repeated assurances by the party's pseudo-economists that the plan would not increase the deficit. So far, the growth feedback from the tax cuts has made up about 5% of the plan's revenue loss, a mere 95% shy of the predictions. The passage of the plan was met with a coordinated wave of corporate public relations announcements of worker bonuses, but the paper finds no widespread increase in bonuses or worker compensation. No shit. Well, I, for one, am completely shocked. I mean, I know that we already saw that trickle down economics doesn't actually work and that the money and the wealth never trickles down. To the working class but you know i just thought this one last time if we tried it maybe things would go different turns out i was wrong <laughs> i mean who believes this who believes this i know that the donald trump kool-aid drinkers the maga chuds just the core base they believe this right donald trump can um fart and claim that it's poetry and they would accept that but you have to have common sense you have to see that after the Reagan revolution, when both parties essentially embraced trickle-down economics to an extent, the wealth hasn't been trickling down. Income and wealth inequality is as bad as it's been since the fucking Gilded Ages. What more has to happen in order to demonstrate that trickle-down economics doesn't work? If Trump truly cared about workers, which is why he claimed we needed to give their bosses the tax cuts, then he would have just put that money directly in their hands. Why do you have to funnel that money down through businesses? If you truly care about workers, then 
give them a tax cut. He had to make sure that the uh, business class and the wealthy, they all got a tax cut because, trust me, they're going to share that wealth. No, they don't share the wealth. They never do that. They give their CEOs bonuses. They invest that in stock buybacks, which should be illegal. And this is what happens. I mean, we've seen it time and again. How many more times does it have to happen until people see, oh, this is clearly the rich trying to dupe us. But I mean, they don't get it. If you want to know what is going to empower workers, it's Bernie Sanders' new plan that would allow for worker-owned co-ops. Putting workers in direct control to an extent of these businesses so they actually have a say. So you're democratizing the workforce to an extent. That's something that would actually benefit workers, not these trickle-down tax cuts that never trickle down. So um, I couldn't not talk about this because how many times did I tell you guys this back in 2017 and early 2018? This corporate PR, don't be fooled by it. They're giving their workers these one-time $1,000 bonuses, but they're not going to do it next year. And they didn't. They didn't. They were just trying to sell you on Donald Trump's tax cuts because it benefited them. And they really, really wanted you to think that them getting more tax cuts is great for you. No. If you are against taxes, then ask yourself this. Why didn't Donald Trump give me, as a working class American, more tax breaks? Why did he give them the lion's share of the tax benefits? Ask yourself that. Right, you got a couple of things. He doubled the standard deduction, but the overwhelming majority of those tax cuts went to the top. I hate to say I told you so if you didn't believe me, but this is the way um, politics works. If there's a policy that's being proposed, history is usually going to be the best indicator as to what will happen when it's rolled out again. If it didn't work before... Odds are, not going to work again. Trickle-down economics has not and will not ever work. Period.